I'm doing more than fine I get money all the time Honey's on my mind Got so many, never mind Put my life right on the line If you come between what's mine Boy, I wish a bitch would try Hello y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel Or welcome to my channel if it is your first time so today is going to be a stripper vlog, a week in my life. I know you guys love these videos and I'm so committed to giving you guys more videos this coming year. So stay tuned. 2024 is going to be a movie, y'all. But welcome back to my channel. So this is my little 4 p.m. morning routine that I'm going to show you guys. I know 4 p.m. is far from being in the morning, but... When I stay late at work, especially when I work until 5 or 7 a.m., I kind of let myself sleep in a little bit. So if I stay past 5, I'll sleep in till 4. If I only stay till 3 or 4, I'll make myself get up by 1 or 2 in the afternoon. Oh, and I just got a water floss for you guys. It is the best thing ever. I don't know why I didn't get one earlier. But I'm just showing you guys my little morning routine. Um, last night I went to work was Thursday and I kind of had a bad night and it made me upset so I didn't end up washing my makeup off but you know I get up in the morning and you gotta make sure you smell good and get refreshed I kind of do like a everything shower before work so I'll shave scrub my entire body but I won't put on any deodorant or anything like that. Oh, and there's my dog trying to get in the shower with me. She's so cute, y'all. I love her so much. Um, but yeah, this is my little shower routine before work. I don't use any crazy products or do anything crazy. But yeah, welcome back to another stripper vlog. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And yeah. so it is 4 42 I have to leave the house by 6 to get to work by 6 30 and then I usually get ready in the back for about two three hours I'll be taking my sweet sweet time getting ready in the club I don't need no one rushing me but um I said I was gonna clean up do some stuff around the house and honestly we're gonna save that for tomorrow because I'm tired so right now I'm just trying to get my dance bag together. Um, I have a bunch of laundry to do. All my stripper outfits are dirty, but I will um, see you guys when I get to work just because I'm so tired. I'm not doing any chores today. I'll probably buy a new outfit or at least buy a couple new thongs when I get to work because we do have a store inside our club. Um, yeah other than that i'll see you guys probably when i get to the booty club no i'll see you guys definitely when i get to the booty club because i'm taking y'all to work with me for sure showing y'all my outfit and everything like that but this is my little cozy work outfit be wearing my little pajamas my little brown cardigan and i'm ready for a cold cold day y'all but I'm gonna let my dog out, probably rest until six, if I'm being honest. I know I could use that time to be productive. Maybe I'll do some dishes. I don't know, y'all. Don't expect too much from me. Cause my work weekends be draining the fuck out of me. Like I was so drained after last weekend, which was the first week I worked four days in a row in a really long time. So truthfully, I probably won't go to work on Sunday. I'll probably end up going to the spa on Sunday. But that's my update for right now. I'll talk to you guys when I get to work. Nunca. Hey y'all. Oh my goodness. So it is five. Ooh, no. It is 5.11 p.m. Lord Jesus Christ. 
when I tell you guys, I literally did not do a single thing today. I woke up around noon. I went back to sleep at one and I've been in bed since then. I set my alarm to get up for 4.30. Like, you know how people usually have a job and then they get home and then they go to sleep. They do their night routine, they go to sleep and then they wake up and they take shower and head straight to work. But I have a 5 p.m. routine morning routine basically my 5 p.m morning routine so i just did that um and got my stuff together put my hair up in a little claw clip i wore my pajamas to work yesterday i'm just wearing this set thing i'd be real comfy when i'm going into work like real real comfy but yesterday was slow you guys like yesterday really kind of made me mad let me not say I was mad because I'm still very grateful. Even when I try to make a dollar or two dollars on stage, I just say thank you universe because I know my VIP is coming. I know my $500 tip is coming. I know my $1,000 tip is coming. Like thank you, thank you so much universe for showing me that the money is coming to my way even by just giving me a dollar or two dollars. You know, but so I'm not completely mad about yesterday. I walked in the club and I was like, okay, it's a little bit of potential going on. And then I walked around and I quickly realized that the number of customers in there and the number of dancers in there was like kind of off. My club is like a really, really huge club. So when you first walk in, it always looks like it's popping. And then you'd be like, damn, it's kind of slow in here. But my night yesterday, I got on the floor around 10.30 and i did rounds i did rounds i kept walking 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 and i came across this group of black men they were so charming they were country from i don't know he told me he had like a ranch in north carolina and i was like oh my gosh you're so cute he was handsome he was like i just want a good wife to have some kids for me and i'm like you're such a sweetie but he did an hour VIP, which I didn't expect him to do. Um, we didn't do a champagne room VIP. We did a double 30 minute VIP, which was an hour. So my club that's called the Entertainer's Hour. And that goes for 480. Be quiet. Entertainer's Hour in my gentleman's club goes for 480. And then he tipped me $140, yay. And then I did one $20 dance and that was it. That was my whole night. Um, it was not a great night, but I'm just so glad I left with something because for Mexico, I'm staying at Hotel Ryu Kukul Khan. I don't know how you say it y'all, but I'm staying at Hotel Ryu. It's an adult only all-inclusive in Cancun, which I'm so happy about because I don't want no fucking kids running around the place while I'm trying to be on my grown and sexy stuff, while I'm sitting on my tripod and trying to take my little pictures. I don't want no kids running around in the background. Uh, um, my nails are done. My lashes are done. Hair, Mexico, done. Um, so the only thing I'll really be doing is packing. So I'll probably pack in this vlog. But yeah, you guys, yesterday I made my little $500. And I was out of there. Let's hope tonight is better. Let's hope I make a band tonight. But sometimes when uh, Fridays are slow, Saturdays are worse. So fingers crossed to see how tonight goes. I fell asleep with last night's makeup on. This is my coffee table that I'm supposed to be putting in my apartment, but it's been in my car for like a month. And I'm taking this little girl over here. I'm taking her to the doggy daycare because I'm about to start getting ready for my Mexico trip. And this girl be driving me crazy. I need to get myself together. I need to, yeah. Work pissed me off last night once again. It was my third, like, night that pissed me off in a row. I don't even want to talk about that right now. I'll talk to you guys about that later. But I just wanted y'all to say bye-bye, little stink stink.
because she about to go to the daycare but i'm sorry i'm not on my camera you guys i really just came to charge my car and drop my dog off and then i'm gonna get myself together i need to take this wig off wash it and decide what wig i'm gonna wear while i'm in mexico i'll probably do my curly wig or my braids wig i don't really know y'all but Work pissed me off last night. I thought I was short on the money count and I was right. I found $130 more in my bag. So yeah, work was slow yesterday, but this guy gave me $300 because I started crying. So that made me feel better. <laughs> LOL, y'all. This guy literally gave me money because I cried. But I'm about to drop this little stink off and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit when I'm ready to get myself together. Yeah, I look a mess. Yeah. it has been a freaking long journey to get here my first flight took off at five in the morning or six in the morning rather and i just made it here at almost 6 p.m 6 p.m so it's been about 12 hours of me traveling i'm looking rough uh the laces yeah i started sweating really bad while i was on the plane <laughs> it's just giving i need to take a shower i need to eat something drink something get refreshed but let me show you all my little room let me show you my little room so this is the shower right here this is the bathroom area mirror beautiful Mirror. Oh, y'all, I'm so skinny. It's giving skinny legend. It's giving the diet is hitting. It's giving I'm about to be fat when I leave out of here. But here is the room. There's a jacuzzi tub in the bed. TV, of course. Oh, and here is the bar. All liquor for me. Everything in the fridge. Oh, I'm starving, you guys. I'm gonna put all my clothes up and get organized so I'm not living out of my suitcase. Here's the bed I'm gonna be sleeping in. And then this is just a little desk, a little couch, painting, and 
my view, which is not that great, but this, this is great. This is great to me. But the view isn't all that, but I'm still happy because it's an all-inclusive bitch, so I get out, go wherever I want, do whatever I want, and everything's already included because it's a all-inclusive. But yeah, y'all, she needs to get herself together. She needs to fix this hair. She needs to take a shower. But I'll talk to you guys later. So far, I'm so happy I'm here. Solo travel, whoo, I, I actually kind of like this. I would definitely do this again. I'm definitely here for the solo travel vibes. But yeah, y'all, let me get my shit together because I can't be going around looking like, looking like this. Like, I sweat my whole wig off. It is so hot. I'm staying outside waiting for my car and just sweating and sweating. And on the plane, I was just sweating and sweating. I just feel like a freaking sweat monster. But I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. I need to get my ish together. It is day one of my Cancun trip. I'm here for three days and three nights. So I'm not gonna call yesterday day one because when I got here, the pool was already closed. Everything was literally closed. I just had dinner and I went to sleep. So technically I'm gonna start my, my days in Mexico today. So here is the plan, y'all. I did not eat yet. I literally slept until, what time is it? It's 1.30, 1.26. I slept until like 1.15. And um, I was just so tired. I literally stayed up so late because of, I like to be tired when I get on flights. That way I can sleep on the plane. And so I stayed up all night like to tire myself out in a way. I stayed up all night to tire myself out. I went out with my friends. We had a lot of fun. We were listening to music, drinking, catching vibes. And then I went home and I Ubered straight to the airport. And I was like, I'm gonna sleep on the plane. Obviously that didn't go as planned. My flight was very, well, my first flight was extremely bumpy and extremely full. And so I couldn't really get comfortable because I was wedged between the window and this like big guy. But yeah. So I'm just about to do my makeup real quick for, I don't know what I'm doing my makeup for. I just wanna look cute and take pics the entire time. And then I'm gonna show you guys my outfit. I have my little bikini under. Like this clearly, clearly the top was meant to go over the nipples, but my boobs are just huge. So we're wearing it as like a, as like a cover up for my bikini. But I'm gonna show you all this dress. And I'm not gonna do too, too much with my makeup today. I'm just gonna do my basic makeup routine 
that I always use. And y'all, I don't spend a lot of money on makeup. This is Beauty Supply Store concealer that I've been using for like two years and I just repurchased it because it's $6.99 and it's so creamy. I love it. I definitely want to be like a Chanel makeup girl, but here's what I'm going to do. When I want my Chanel makeup, my Dior makeup bag, and all the brushes, I'm going to have to find a guy and tell him that, oh no, I lost all my makeup and I can't go out with you. <laughs> but definitely as long as I be buying my makeup myself, I love a deal. I love good cheap makeup products because if you know how to use them, you're going to look good. You know but yeah i'm just doing my little everyday whoo just doing my little everyday makeup routine that i like to do but a way faster version of it so i can hurry up and go i just was like oh i'm gonna be gonna sleep until 10 and then i was like oh, i'm gonna sleep until 11. i literally slept until one o'clock you guys but i feel rested i feel relaxed it was a really, really good, really good nap. The only thing I will say is that the sheets in this hotel are kind of thin. Like I love me a hotel with some thick, luxurious sheets. So maybe I should get another blanket or like another sheet from the front desk because I was kind of cold, but I did turn the heater on. Y'all, why was I so scared to sleep with the lights off? I kept hearing people because my resort like faces the street so you can hear like the, the people and I kept hearing people and I was so scared I thought someone was gonna try to come in my room <laughs> I thought someone was gonna try to come in my room I'm gonna put a little bit of concealer on my forehead because I have this dark patch right here on my forehead like right under my lace I hate it so much, but I've been doing my skincare routine and it's been literally making my skin amazing. I wish I had the product that I use. I should have brought it with me, but it doesn't do good in like really sunny. Like you're not supposed to be outside while you're using dark spot remover product that I swear by. So that's why I didn't want to bring it to Mexico. But when I'm in Vegas, I literally don't go outside because I live there. So I'm going to get back to using it when I get back to Vegas but today I just want to go to the pool go to the beach eat like drink like have some chill time like today is gonna be my chill day like yeah today is gonna be my chill day for sure let me find my eyebrow product that's what i'm over here looking for this is what i use for my brows it's old as hell maybelline maybelline tattoo studio for my eyebrows it's literally not much going on <laughs> I'm just going to chill. I'm going to relax. I'm going to bring you guys, bring my camera with me. And we are going to explore. Viva Mexico. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Viva Mexico, baby. I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to just take time off. Sleep without having to wake up and get my dog on her walk. The cat is fed. The dog is fed. I actually dropped my dog off in a daycare for the first time ever since I adopted her from the shelter. I miss her so much. I've never been away from my dog. So I wonder if she thinks I'm just going to like leave her there <laughs> because she came from the shelter, y'all. So I wonder if she thinks like I abandoned her. I wonder if she's even gonna remember me or if she's even gonna like me. But no, out of all the things that I miss while I'm here, mind you, I've been here for less than 24 hours. I miss my dog and I miss my vape. <laughs> 
<laughs> Something is clearly wrong with me, y'all. I miss my dog and I miss my baby. Y'all, we were having a time in Mexico. I went to the resort and I became friends with the 67 year old lady Pam and her daughter Mia, and they were my besties on the resort, y'all. But unfortunately, I ended up getting really sick off the food and I didn't record after I got sick and I lost some of the footage, y'all. But I hope you guys enjoyed this week in my life vlog a week of working and vacation but if you guys enjoy this video make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys in more vlogs this year i love you guys and bye y'all